Engineering. Fighting global warming by putting a chemical dust in the atmosphere and reflecting harmful radiation back into space. We take geoengineering to be deliberate, large-scale intervention in the Earth system. There are a variety of schemes that have been discussed for geoengineering. A classic example is uh, injecting reflecting particles into Earth orbit. Nevertheless, there might be some good reason to think about alumina. It turns out, first of all, there's been a lot of work on the environmental consequences of alumina in the stratosphere. The big deal really is that alumina has four times the volumetric grade of forcing it for small particles, as does sulfur. And that means you have four times less surface area for the same radio forcing. And this is a much bigger deal. You have roughly 16 times less the coagulation rate. And that's the thing that really drives removal. So you could get away, we think, with much smaller mass bombs. So that's why we see things like in the uh, use, use aircraft patent from the 89, they talk about aluminum. And that's why we're seeing in the surface water samples aluminum. And here's David Keith saying uh, that aluminum has four times the reflective uh, volume surface area. So they'd like us to think that we're talking about sulfur, but here they slipped up and let it out that uh, aluminum is four times better to achieving their ends. And it sounds like it's better than when they don't want us to know the effects of it. The little picture is from a nanofabrication study, which shows you can make very high quality, and do this in just a jet in a very simple way, make high quality alumina particles just by spraying aluminum vapor out, which oxidizes. So it's certainly in principle possible to do that. There's a big literature that's already looked at that. And you could do that by either building new versions of these aircraft or even re-engineering existing aircraft. So there's some ideas about that. So you go to an engineering firm and you want this done. They don't say this is hard or unusual. They say, okay, yes, we could do it. Aerosol geoengineering looks like it is so cheap that the cost is basically not going to be an issue. That means that implementation decisions will be risk-to-risk -risk decisions. The risk of doing it against the risk of not doing it. And it makes the problem of how we govern it fundamentally harder and different than normal. So I've told you this, cheap to deliver materials in stratosphere, and I'm convinced that's true. I don't think that will change. But I think the more we do research, the less easy this will look, the more complicated the environmental effects will look. And that's a good thing, because right now it looks too easy. So I think that if we do more research, we're likely to find out that it's harder and more complicated than we thought and that the side effects are harder to manage. And that's a healthy...